great to have you join us. I'm Melinda Akinlami. On today's edition of the program, we'll be looking at how photographs are speaking at the Omenke Gallery in Lagos. Then another exhibition which features two generations. We have that and more on the program today. But let's quickly see our article quotes and we'll be right back. Writing has always been a serious business for me. I felt it was a moral obligation. The man dies in awe, who keeps silent in the face of tyranny. We begin with this exhibition, which features works of art done by children and some contemporary artists in Lagos. It's an annual festival that makes art exhibitions one of the headliners, featuring works of art done by renowned artists. But there's a twist to this tale. At a corner in the room lies the future of the art sector, if they decide to go pro once they become of age. These are talents in Nigeria, multi-talents from this exhibition. What we want to send to, our, to the world and to the everybody, first, the ability for these children to express themselves, one medium. Two, what is making one of the pains we're having in Nigeria is because these people, most of the children finish their school, they are not employed. Craft, art, it's self-employment. And so we are actually training them to be what? Self-employed. And what other beauty can we get that we see people who are what? Who are very happy to see this artwork. The children, for the first time, have been able to send their message. We are training them for future tomorrow. We are not also just looking at the classroom ideology, where people only write and read. And therefore, when they come out of the institution, where there is no job, they no longer function in the society. Crime rate will increase. What we are actually doing there is giving the children a tomorrow's future. The tunnel we have is called the Tunnel of Good Hope. And that tunnel is basically the link from the academic area of the school to the, the boys' hostel, which is a gift by uh, Dr. Obiora, one of the benefactors of this school. He, gave us, he basically gave us that hostel. And so that tunnel used to be bare. There was nothing on it. And uh, um, I, I felt that we needed something to inspire people when they walked through that tunnel and to slow down the students so they don't have to be running through it. You know? So that's why we have a lot of artworks, but not just artworks, words of inspirations to inspire people as they walk through the tunnel. You know? From the look of things, this primitive art shows that there's so much in a name. It's actually a portrait work of a comedian, Vinci Cod. If you know him, you know that his works, his comedy works are satirical. They are, they are more satires of the Nigerian community, which is what makes me really like his work. He doesn't just like make jokes about him, joke around. He compares Nigerian, Nigerian society and British society to bring out the follies in the Nigerian society so that we, we can be able to change or something like that. Starting with my work, I picture them as, how do I say, magical. Because I want you that, yes, photographic can also be, photography can also be an art. Not only drawing and painting, but also photography, using our cameras to get something nice. So basically here, my work is divided into three layers. I have the still life, the festival, and the nature. These pictures are all taken with the aim of showing how beautiful my subjects are. For example, nature, the cover of all things around us, modern nature itself, our green environment, our green earth. And so I have my pictures over here. And secondly, I have the depth of field. Depth of field deals with a sharp, a sharp foreground and a blur background. After I have this capture here, here on my pictures. And my last one is the festive or cultural picture. This is normal in Odo, a cultural days. Aira, Buba, Ali, Ashikuta, and so on. Rest. I want to show you that, ah, yes, that photography is beautiful. Although it's a new concept in Nigeria, which should be widely accepted by all. And also, there's money in this too. For the organizers, this rare combination of the present and future is essential. 
If the art industry is to continue flourishing, talent and motivation have to become kernels from the same nut. We, we really believe in the, in the young in this country uh, and, and in this school in, you know, specifically. You know, they give us a lot of hope. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, we call this school the home of the egos. And we believe that our students um, are going to fly very high. Um, we see a lot of hope in them that they will be the ones to help transform the leadership landscape of, of this country. So they, they're so promising and we really want to show peace their artwork um, and, and, and encourage them. Uh, of course, their artwork is, it's, I mean, it's just beautiful. It's, it's, it touches my emotions, so it's, a, it's wonderful. We're not just show, showcasing it uh, because, because of uh, the promise they bring. But they are really wonderful artworks, you know, by all standards. This is just to add to the many voices pushing for young talent to be given the right environment to blossom. I like that kind of combination. At least the children can get some inspiration from the professional artists in the room.